Bonjourno everyone. What a lovely day. I've been stuck in work all day, so busy night and I'm gonna go out and enjoy the weather a little bit. But busy day for Newcastle United. There's well some news today on contracts. Um not the news that we're all waiting for. Take over, obviously. Tomorrow. Must be tomorrow, Friday tomorrow, innit? And then we'll find out it's it's next week and so on and so forth. Not even the contract news that we wanted in terms of Matty Longstaff. We know that he's obviously agreed to extend it until the end of this season, till the games are finished, but wouldn't maintain him down for another four or five years at least, eh? Is he on his way to Italy? Let us know. Or is he waiting for the takeover to obviously be announced like the rest of us Geordies? A Geordie has been signed up for another contract though, one year extension deal for Andy Carroll. Good news I think, especially after his performance last night, but it just comes down to again how often is he going to produce that performance or how often is he going to be fit to get on the pitch to potentially produce that performance. That's the worry with Andy Carroll. Um, you know, 30 on the wrong side of 30 now, but last night he didn't look it. He didn't look it against Villa. I thought he was sharp. His vision was brilliant for the goal for Gale. Um, he's putting himself about. He's winning everything. He was. He looked very fit last night to be fair, but the problem is he, he exerts himself too easy, doesn't he? And then he he, he has a game like that last night. Because I remember even during the winter he was bombing up and down, winning balls from from our box for the for the corner and things like that, and being everywhere on the pitch and, and battling his battling his heart out, but. You don't see him for another couple of months. It gives a great option off the bench or even to start in a game, especially against different teams. So I think saying Andy Carroll up is a, a, a good move, especially if he's still on a contract like he is right now, because he's on he's on pennies at the minute in football and wages terms. I mean, 20 odd grand if, if he doesn't play, and then what, 45, 50 if he does. So if it's another one year deal like that, like I suspect it is, and it, I think it's a very good deal for us and for Andy, um, staying at his boyhood club. Javi Manquio gets a four year deal. To be honest, like, Manku has done very well this season. He's not always, um, you know, a star player or someone you look to or someone who would get on the back of the shape, but he's, he's done a decent job this year. He still needs to be a bit more clinical going forward, but he's pretty solid at the back. He does get into some good positions in some good areas in the final third, so if we can work on that. But he is a decent player out there, especially a squad player. I wouldn't really want him as me starting right back all the time. But just with a four-year deal with the, with the takeover, you'd hope on the horizon, imminent. Um, Man to get a four year deal. I thought he was older to be phased when he just turned 26, so like unlike Andy, you know, he's still got his prime ahead of him, you'd imagine. So hopefully he can kick on and hopefully he can do well for Newcastle. I think it's, it, like I say, I, I would have offered him a deal. I think he's deserved it this season. When he first came to Newcastle, he was poor. He, you could see why he used to be on the other side, at the town side, on we are side, in the red and white and at the stadium of shape. But he's, he's done well for us, really, especially this year. So I think he, he warrants that deal four years. I don't know, but maybe then again, you can obviously still get some money back from him if, he, uh, if you sell him two years down the lane, whereas if you give him a two or three year deal, you're not going to get a penny back. So that's probably where they're looking at it, to be honest. Stay at Newcastle for another one, two years, then sell him on once we're in the Champions League. Going out the door and who hasn't been given a new deal is Rob Elliott, who has spent nearly a decade on Tyneside, a great servant for the club. He's uh, proudly raising his kids. It was Jordy. He said, in a, as Jordy's, he said in a recent interview, um, you know, he's been, when he's been called upon, my belly, I thought he's always done a very good job. I remember a way at Anzi in the Europa League. He made some great saves. Uh, I think Bournemouth was a game that he had a great game. You know, highlight. So he's, in those near on ten years, he's only made seventy odd appearances. But he's been a, a very good third choice keeper, a very good second choice keeper. I mean, even in the Championship, he was very good for us, wasn't he? Um, and like I say, when he's been called upon, he's done a job, he's reliable. He's been linked with maybe going back to his boyhood club, Charlton Athletic, and finishing his career there. Uh, obviously, he's not getting any younger, but as a, younger, but as a keeper, he can, he can play on a bit more. That's that's the only big exit, really. We've got a couple of more. I think Jack, Jack Colback and Jamie Sterry have also been confirmed. But like I say, I think we, we knew that uh, a couple of weeks ago. We reported that on our social medias. That was confirmed by the club today, though. Alongside some other promising youngsters that have went, Luke Charman, Newcastle's number nine in the underage groups. You know, I've seen him a couple of times at St James's Park, where, where they've had the crowd there for the games, and he's he looked decently scored. I think every time I've went to see him, but club have obviously decided to let him go. Another one is Victor Fernandez, who always looked like a pacey, tricky winger, hampered by injuries, so he's been unlucky. And the others are Liam Gibson and Nathan Harker. So yeah, I mean, Newcastle already getting rid of some of the deadwood before this Saudi Arabian takeover, I <laughs> would hope so, but I think either way, I think those were on the way out. Let me know what you think about Andy Carroll and Javi Mancrio getting new deals and what you think about the other players who've been let go. And going back to the start of the video, will Matty Longstaff sign a new deal for Newcastle? That'll do for now, and enjoy the rest of the sunshine.
down the coast. All right, a couple of signers. A couple of takeaway beers, hopefully. Just watch and subscribe to my Pie Channel TV and enjoy yourself.